second cohort of SAS Accelerator, organized by Ministry of Transport, Communications and Information Technology, and in partnership with Google for Startups. In a world of heightened competition, the immersive startups struggle to penetrate local and regional markets, even with unprecedented product ideas. Through a unique blend of global and local expertise, the SAS Accelerator, over an intensive five-week period, took 11 participating startups on a journey of refining and developing their products. The startups received over 130 hours of workshops, labs, and one-on-one -on -one consultation. 21 international mentors and 17 local specialists guided them through the growth phase. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for your interest in the tech startups in Sultanas Burma. Through SAS Center for Entrepreneurship, the Ministry of Transport, Communications and Information Technology has conducted the third SAS Accelerator cohort, and the second one in partnership with Google for Startup. Such programs provide the opportunity for a leap growth for the startups. It has been an energetic five weeks, with tremendous effort with the, from startups, mentors and program team. Massive thanks to SAS team, Google for Startup, and contributive efforts from UK Arman Digital Hub. So, we expect from you to consider and look into their products and ideally identify potential partnership or investment prospects. We encourage you to support local tech startups actively as a contributor or a promoter. To the cohort, thank you for your efforts and for taking the leap with us. Thank you for joining us. Hello everyone, I'm Salim Abid. I manage the Dev Ecosystem of Startup for the Middle East and North Africa for Google. I'm very, very, very proud to be part of the SAS MTCIT Accelerator. Uh, this year we had a lot of startup, good startup that uh, participated in this program and I was able to talk to them directly through multiple workshops. I want to thank all the facilitators, the mentors, the experts who made this cohort very successful. Uh, I also want to thank um, Emmy, Hamoud and all the organizers for this program. I look forward to additional collaboration in the future and more successful startup. Uh, I look forward to their startup accelerating their growth and uh, making us like you know proud. Uh, and uh, seeing their product in the market field. Thank you. eBina.com is an online construction ecosystem which allows clients, contractors, and architects to build trust, dreams, and construction projects. There are many construction challenges for clients, which cause unclarity, complexity, and risk before, during, and even after construction. Here is Ahmed. He spent six months and unable to find a good contractor and understand what a safe legal contract looks like. A contract he will trust a 25 year loan with. But this was only the beginning. He then got into conflict with his contractor over time, quality and scope. Without warranties and test reports, Ahmed's dream would become his source of pain as it stops and ends up in court. But why do people like Ahmed go through problems? Because there is no tendering and project management processes when people build their homes. Ahmed and thousands like him sign legally weak and unbinding contracts. To understand why this is happening, let's take a look at the tendering and project management marketplace in Oman. High value projects are able to spend on international consultants and professional software, whereas lower value projects like homes and small buildings can only afford lower quality services. Ibina is able to provide high quality services for its clients by harnessing the power of technology. Ibina.com provides premium services to allow you build your dream home, assure quality within the correct legal framework. All you need to do is register your project, choose your materials, and upload your drawings. And within two weeks, get your, per your personal project analysis, compare prices and qualified contractors, and check out their profiles. Assign a contractor, 
and get the first value from EBITDA. Then, get the second most important value, the correct legally binding contract. The only one to protect you when things go wrong. You will review your contract online, check your construction program and scope, and sign the contract digitally. So far, in four months' time only, Ebina was able to prove its success by attracting 3,000 happy users and more than 200 projects, saving time, assuring quality, and securing budget. But we still have more. In six months' time, we will launch the first smart contract embedded within an online project management tool, allowing you to track project progress, manage personal budget, and record contractor compliance. But our innovation does not stop here. We will continue innovating to provide smart, reliable, digital products for the construction industry in procurement and design. Construction is an old billion dollar problem in the world. In Oman itself, we have 24,000 homes built annually, whereas in the GCC, there are 500,000 homes built annually. The global reach is in our horizon, which is why we joined hands with global advocacy an international legal firm and partnered with Fahd Al Ismaili, the CEO of Tubian, with over 17 years in the real estate industry. I, Hussein Al Asfour, with more, ten, with more than 10 years of experience as a consultant, contractor, and project manager in small and large scale projects. Build your home at ebina.com to secure your dreams. And if you would like to join our journey and collaborate, as an industry expert or an investor, please call and reach out directly. Build smart, build trust with ebina.com. Hello, I'm Maria Hinai, the founder of Shafra, an at-home genetic testing service. One in five adults in the region are struggling with lifestyle diseases, including obesity and diabetes. And deciding on lifestyle changes can be a daunting process. There are hundreds of diets and exercises to choose from, and finding the right combination that works is often a guessing game. As a genetic counselor, I have helped people understand how their DNA impacts their health, sparking the ideal solution for lifestyle changes. Using just a saliva sample, we help our clients understand how their body handles food and exercise based on their DNA. From the comfort of their homes, our clients collect their samples. We then process them at our accredited partner labs and analyze them in-house. Within six to eight weeks, we provide our clients with personalized reports in an easy and accessible language. Through our secure online platform, we help our clients understand what food and exercise to follow in order to reach their ideal health goals. We provide more than 100 personalized reports, including but not limited to information related to diet and nutrition, such as how the body handles carbs, fat, and protein, the body's response to exercise, including power and endurance training, as well as understanding the body's response to stress and sleep. Shafra is the missing link between lifestyle changes and your ideal health goals. Our customers' privacy and security is a top priority. This is why we comply with both local and international data regulations. We have succeeded in showing our solutions profitability through our alpha testing. Priced at $300 per kit, we generated $10,200 in revenue so far, with 20% net profit from every customer. As operational costs continue to go down, this profit margin is expected to exceed 30%. We have about 200 clients waiting for us to launch in Q4 2020. Our entry is the Amani and Saudi weight loss segment. We estimate to generate $30 million in revenue in the next five years, starting with online platforms, gyms, and nutritionists, as our first channels for sales. This would be followed by the remaining GCC countries and eventually expanding to our full market potential to include health and diagnostics. There are key players in the market operating with 100 million people seeking similar services around the world, including 23andMe and Circle. The MENA region remains a massive untapped market and our value lies not only in our comprehensive tests and personalized Arabic reports, but also in providing continuous support to our clients through one-on-one -on -one sessions with certified coaches. And the annual reanalysis of data based on the Arab population specifically, ensuring the accuracy of our results. Our team has both technical and business expertise, 
Along with myself, our co-founder, Dr. Rayel Maskeri, is a researcher and specialist in human genetics at the University of Technology and Applied Sciences. She holds a PhD in genetics from the University of Cambridge with many scientific publications. Together, we have a cumulative industry experience of more than 12 years in the field. Our business advisor, Saeed Al Maskeri, has more than 15 years of experience managing multi-million dollar revenue companies and setting strategies for growth. We are, com- we are looking for complementary partnerships with gyms and nutritionists, both in Oman and the GCC, helping us reach our target customers and increasing our customer base. We are just scratching the code with the information available when it comes to DNA and what it can tell us about our health. With the future of healthcare moving towards personalized medicine, Shafra will be one step closer to be the leading at-home genetic testing company for Arabs around the world. Thank you. I'm Khalid and I'm the CEO and founder at iComs. Ali, with over 10 years of experience in the real estate industry, was struggling to set up his business to make it strong and smart enough to compete with the big sharks and finally reach his target audience. With only one man running the show, he needed means to stand out while still focus on growing his business. SMEs in the MENA region contribute about 50% to the GDP and 65% to the employment market. However, there are tens of millions of entrepreneurs like Ali in the MENA region where 75% of them fail within 20 months because they're not able to connect with their potential customers in a market that has 68% internet penetration. And with the COVID-19 pandemic, these numbers are on the rise with no means to reach or conduct business with clients but the internet. We help businesses build, manage, and scale complex web applications without having to hire experts. When it comes to using our platform, it's as simple as this. Pick a template, customize it, and go online. All of this with no design or code knowledge required. We're looking at a global competition of multi-billion dollar worth companies, and it is in the rise. Compared to legacy platforms like WordPress, our platform is simpler and more flexible when it comes to management, maintenance, security, and scalability. As of for platforms like Wix and Slikes, ICOM supports unlimited use cases and has very flexible business model that allows our users to take their code away while they still enjoy our support at a fee. A business model is simple. You can subscribe to our platform from as low as $20 a month and pay as you go. If you prefer to own or host your own solution, you can switch between the models at any point of time. We've started our journey with the platform back in 2010 and then launched our subscription model in 2018 and plan to launch our self-service portal by the end of Q1 2021. Our traction is solid and is only growing. Our subscription model, which kicked off less than three years ago, has contracts signed until 2022. It has been growing with more than 100% year on year and it has generated over $100,000 of revenue. Our on-premise solution is still in demand and has contributed to over a million dollars of revenue. We have been steadily growing year on year with more than 80% of our customers coming through referral. Our customers really love us. I come from the technology background as I have been coding and creating complex web architectures since the year 2000 when I was in the first year of college. As a CEO, I'm responsible for driving the company's vision in addition to managing strategy, sales, finance and business development. Hanan, my co-founder, has a wealth of experience in leading teams which were responsible for building high-traffic web pages when she first started her career as an engineer with AOL. She's currently leading and heading product, engineering and support. Hanan and I have a collective experience of over 30 years of helping hundreds of SMEs and government agencies across various industries and regions, most of which have been in the MENA region. What we're seeking is value-added networking, introduction to businesses, in addition to collaborative and strategic partnerships. 
Most importantly, we require every support possible in leading the no-code revolution in the MENA region, across schools, universities, and design houses. In the year 2020, everyone should be able to turn their dreams and ideas into powerful web platforms in no time without having to code. This is iComs. Reach out to us on LinkedIn or check out our website, iComs.com. Hello, everyone. I'm glad to present you today how we aim to build the number one tracking tool for teams. This is a story from a person who owns a technology software, SME. He had an amazing talented team and they were always very busy with a lot of cool projects. So he noticed that every time he is working on a new project, one week later he would see that there are a lot of delays in task completions and the progress is slowing down and there were constant confusions between team members. Some didn't know the work was assigned to them, some were working on different parts that were not assigned to them, some did the work but the others didn't know they did it. So there was a lot of misunderstanding and miscommunication going on. And of course, when it came to clients, whenever the client asked what is happening, every person had a different answer and a different idea of what is happening. So that caused even further frustration to the clients. This was simply a miscommunication problem. And this is a huge problem in companies. Miscommunication is costing more than $37 billion per year. So in the software company, the owner saw that there was something wrong that needed fixing immediately. So he tried everything. He did more meetings only to find out it was actually wasting a lot of time. And when suggesting for more calls and emails, it caused more errors and work as well made it messier. They even registered for a couple of project management tools, but mostly they were either too complicated or just could not solve the miscommunication issue. So nothing worked and we continued struggling until we gave them flows, a simple project tracker tool for teams. It does both lets the startup track and manage their internal work easily. At the same time, allows their clients to be happy and know exactly what's going on by sharing the states with them. This is how it looks like. One workflow that shows the project in a clear steps with the responsible person, deadline, and the progress states. Also with a simple projects dashboard, you have a holistic view of exactly knowing what is going on in the company without wasting any time. So, if we take a look at the software company example. Before flows, the whole team was lost and remained lost even after a lot of efforts. But after flows, the projects improved by 50% more efficient than before. Things went smooth and easy for them. And today, they are one of our happiest customers, along with another 150 happy users. The flows is currently the only solution in the market that offers Arabized a project tracker tool, as well the only tool with a shareable workflow feature. As well as we are proud to have built the simplest and Arabized solution, yet to also have catered and focused on the needs of the SMEs. We are looking at a huge market, and we are looking to start with the Omani market of 44,000 SMEs, and we are capturing 15% with an opportunity of $165,000 in monthly recurring revenue. Our monthly subscription plans starts with only $10 per month at a competitive industry rate, and all our packages are priced mainly on features and number of projects. Our business and technical team consists of my partner Haider, who is focused on the sales and marketing and the growth of the company, and myself, Abdullah, the CTO who is focused on the software development as well as ensuring a smooth system for all of our users. Our 12 months growth plan consists of us acquiring 50,000 users, which translates to $1.25 million in monthly recurring revenue. And these are the milestones of how we will achieve our plan. Currently, we are focusing to continue acquiring new users in Oman. We hope that we can collaborate together to further scale. Thank you very much for listening to us and we hope that you have a great day. 
I'm here to talk about Musket Food Market. My name is Najim Salim Rauta. I am brought up in a family that has been selling fresh fruits and vegetables in Oman for over 40 years. Falcon Trading is an importer and a B2B distributor. The pandemic has brought the B2B activities at Falcon Trading to a near stop. So we decided to pay more attention to the B2C opportunities. This was the start of Musket Food Market. Musket Food Market is our B2C venture. Initially, we convert our, converted our walk-in customers to the online platform, and then we added over 3,000 SKUs, making it a complete grocery store. We are trying to reduce shopping efforts for essentials. Our solution is a home delivery service for orders placed on our website. Seeing the traction so far gives us the confidence it's a viable business to focus on. We have started using social media to build online brand awareness. Small cafes and restaurants are placing orders on the online platform. This has positively surprised us. I am the owner and the chief in charge. The operations are managed by Falcon team. The website maintenance and marketing is managed by a newly appointed young team of experts. Low barriers to enter has enabled a lot of competition in our field. However, we focus on direct logistics without any middlemen. This is a unique advantage we have being in the food, fresh food market. Oman is estimated to be a 5 billion US dollars per year market opportunity for grocery business. At present, we are serving 1000 deliveries per month just in the Musket and neighboring region. We will be extending our services to the other regions up to 200 kilometer radius in the coming year. At this stage, we are looking for right minded partners to reach other areas of the country and join our team in the, in the journey to bring a newer way to shop for essentials in Oman. Thank you for your kind attention. Assalamu alaikum. Hi. My name is Kaisi Jidiani. I'm the CEO and CTO of Bun, an e-commerce store for coffee. Coffeeholics are changing their behavior. They're going from coffee shops to their own coffee corners. You're gonna ask me, why? Because they want more control over their coffee. They want to do it the way that they like, the way that they love, with any coffee, any variety of coffee that they desire. And with that change comes also a change in the supply chain, by the way. We are new roasters coming along, providing different coffee, different kinds of coffee from different farms, from different countries. And some of them even producing new blends. And some of them are experimenting with the roast. And that's amazing. Having so much options is always good, especially when you're talking about coffee, because every bean is a different adventure. And it's great. But sadly, we, must, we miss most of them. You know why? Because most of the roasteries have its own way of communication, have its own way of shipping. And some of them have a minimum quantity. You need to order 10 kilos to get your, to get your, uh, to get your coffee, which is just limit your happiness. And here, one comes along with our coffee holic centered solution that puts coffee holics and roasteries in one place providing the coffee holic with many varieties of coffee coffee bags and also subscriptions that are tailored to them and to their taste we are targeting the gcc market and we are planning in the next five years to capture five percent of that growing market which equal to six sixty million dollar Starting from Oman and going step by step approach, going state by state, country by country to acquire the 5% uh, of the GCC market by 2025. Since we started, a couple of competitors has, occur, uh, has, uh, has emerged in locally and regionally uh, our competitors are excelling in their own countries trying to satisfy that need and that demand. And trade last month, they, they, they raised more than $9 million to expand in the United States. And, and that's all great. But all of them sells coffee only. We don't just sell you the coffee. 
We sell you the experience around that coffee. We don't care about you only buying it. We care about you tasting it and enjoying it. And that's our top priority. And when you ask our customers, they never call you, they never call us a bun store. They are always calling us bun service. Because we treat them as our best friend and our our highest priority is making them happy. And not just to make you buy something, it to make you enjoy that something. Since we since March 2020 in the market, we acquired we acquired uh, more than 300 paying customers and more than 150 kilograms shipped around across the country and more than 200 total number of subscribers. And that's only since March of 2020. Let me introduce you to the dream team. We have Ahmed Al Ajali, our impossible maker as a CFO and operation director. Ghadir Al Dehli, the coffee queen with as a product quality and marketing director. And me as a CEO and CTO. Why we call ourselves the dream team? Because we know we can make it. We are asking for $500,000 to expand to, uh, to the UE by next year and to enhance our service, make it faster, make it better, and make it more tailored to our customers. Now, let me ask you a question. Are you ready to be part of this journey? Thank you. I want you to imagine an Omani man in a small village far away from Muscat who owns camels and wants to start a business of selling camel milk. What do you think his chances are of selling that milk to a family living in the wave in Muscat? I don't think he has a chance. I've been living in Oman for the last 22 years and have never seen or tasted camel milk. Not because I didn't want to, but it wasn't available easily. This is the problem of most of the small businesses in the world, not just in Oman. They know how to make some fantastic products, but don't have the reach to customers. These companies need support to market themselves and there is a need for an ecosystem to enable them. To address this problem, we created Azus, an online platform that enables producers to sell directly to end customers. Azus is available in both English and Arabic languages on iOS, Android and web. So no matter what device you use or what language you speak, you will always be able to place an order on Azus 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Already, thousands of customers are actively using Azus to order fresh, healthy, daily need items and we have just scratched the surface. GCC yearly food basket spend is $54 billion. Oman spends about $5 billion yearly. In next four years, we are targeting to capture 2.5% of Omani market and then spread to other GCC countries. With this huge opportunity, competition increased too. In the times of lockdown, several de delivery companies sprung up in Oman. Azuz's value proposition is the customer experience, niche items that we offer, and our vision for our business partners. But what makes us really special is our experience in the field and profitable business model from day one. No business is good business if it does not generate profits. We generate revenue from fixed margins from our vendors for every single sale and a delivery charge of 700 buys us from our customers. When we first started in Jan 2020, we delivered for small poultry farms, honey producers, vegetable farms and greenhouses around Muscat. During this short journey, we realized that it was not only just the SMEs, even large organizations needed to reach the customer directly, not only to sell their products, but also to understand the customer needs better. From three vendors that we started with, we now work with 52, out of which 20 are SMEs and all home businesses. Today, we not only deliver pure Omani honey from an SME, but also deliver dairy products from Oman's largest dairy project, Mazoon Dairy. Our customers can select products from 38 different categories and get them delivered at the time and day of their convenience. So far, we have delivered more than 75 tons of fruits and vegetables, 20,000 chicken, 125,000 eggs, and several other items. In our first year of operation, we are on our way to generate revenue of a million US dollars. I am Mohit Suri, founder of Azuz, and have been working in Oman for last 22 years in various roles. Building businesses from grassroots levels is my expertise. 
My co-founder, Ms. Vardal Minji, has years of experience in mentoring SMEs and home businesses. We have managed to build an exceptional team that is fully committed, aligned and motivated towards goals of Azus. We are in learning and growth mode. We need strategic partners and investors since our immediate next goal is to bring in 10,000 more users and introduce new initiatives in Azus for which we need half a million dollars. If you wish to be part of this exceptional journey called Azus, please reach out to us and we are happy to discuss business. Thank you. At least once a month, every household in Oman goes through the daunting ordeal of ordering cooking gas, calling and messaging a driver hoping he replies, finally arrives and he overcharges you, you scramble for cash as he does not accept card payments. On the other hand, drivers face problems too. It is extremely difficult for drivers to expand their customer base. They usually have their 35-40 regular customers who call and that's it. Drivers easily lose customers. If he isn't available for any reason, customers will find someone else. New drivers in the market find it very challenging to find customers. The only way is driving around honking the horn, hoping someone needs gas. A wine gas app is a marketplace that allows our customers to order gas in a way that's transparent, fixed prices with cashless payment, while allowing the drivers to expand and access a wider customer base. To give you an idea on how big the cooking gas market is in Oman, Awan Gas B2B department supplies over 3,500 cylinders per day. Muscat alone is a $45 million market. In Oman, the market size is approximately $190 million. Currently, the competitors to Awan Gas app are the legacy gas delivery drivers. Our competitive advantage in the market is convenience and availability. Another advantage is we provide an expansive customer base to the drivers themselves, converting our competitors to business partners. A little background about the parent company Awan Gas. We are the leading wholesale suppliers of cooking gas in Muscat, with 30 years experience in the field, founded back in 1991. Currently we operate four supply warehouses and a filling station in Al Muscat and Al Batna region. Through this experience, we know that the drivers are the core reason why we are successful. Unlike newcomers to the market, we have built a special connection and trust with the drivers over the years. Having the drivers on board our road to success is an invaluable asset. Currently, we have over 12,000 registered users. We average 1,000 deliveries a month, generating a sales value of over $30,000 in the last Three months. The business model is purely commission based. We charge 6% per transaction through the application. We do not employ any of these drivers, nor do we own any of the vehicles, keeping our overheads low and our gross profit margin high. We have an ambitious road map ahead. By 2022, we will cover most of Muscat, averaging 8,000 orders per month. By 2024, we will expand outside the Muscat, starting with Sahar in Al Batna region. By 2026, we will have expanded into Salala and eventually covering most of the Sultanate, targeting monthly sales of 30,000 cylinders. Introducing the, the team firstly, myself, Abdurrahim Al Kiyumi, the CEO, Amran Al Kiyumi, COO, Ammar Al Kiyumi, Director. We are three brothers and second generation in the gas industry. We have Saad Al Alawi on board, who is our operations manager. We also have Marwan Al Barwani, operations and admin associate. Thank you for your time and allow me to tell you about our exciting endeavor. We will be looking for potential strategic partners along our road to growth. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Saleh Al Hajri, CEO of Ibn Al Hajri and Al Apart. Ibn Al Hajri is a retailer that generates annually 250,000 US dollars. We've recently gone online and we had 100,000 viewership in six months. We deliver anywhere here in Oman. After creating so much value for the local market, we found that we can create more value and solve major problems that 
many are facing here locally and globally. Let me tell you about Calvin. Calvin had a road accident and is missing a pair of headlights. The garage owner has told him that he might need to scrap his car if he doesn't find the part yet. Calvin went to alapart.com, searched the part, found it, ordered it, and received it successfully. He saved his car. The solution, Alapart, is an online platform that connects buyers and sellers globally. It is specialized for part, easy to find. Our clients are buyers, it could be individual, people who are looking to modify their car, classic car owner, or a business, retailer, or a mechanic. On the other hand, it could be a seller, a retailer again, a scrapyard owner, or an individual with assets lying around, salvagers, or even car enthusiasts. Our business model revolves around free registry for all sellers, paid premium verified account for, for a seller rating, and a broker fee out of every successful sale. Our market size, it was reported in 2019, around $148 billion worth of sale of auto spare part happened online. Amazon alone had $8 billion worth of sale online. We are targeting 1% of that, $18 million. What sets apart Alapart is that it's a global solution, specialized for car parts, not restricted by locality, and, this, and it engages the community to solve the problem. The team consists of 30 years experience in engineering field and logistics. If you are an investor who has the know-how to take Alapart globally, we are that forward-looking team that can make this happen. If you are a part retailer, a part buyer, or a part owner, please register on Alapart. I am Saleh Al-Hajri, CEO of Ibn Al-Hajri and Alapart. Please contact us as per, the, as per the slide. Thank you very much for listening and have a good day. As the program director of the SAS Accelerator, I would like to thank you for joining us for demo day of the second cohort. We hope that you enjoyed seeing the progress and traction of our talented startups in Oman. I would like to again thank Google for their contribution to the SAS Accelerator and for, and for providing us an amazing group of mentors from around the world. I would also like to thank the SAS team and all of our Omani mentors for their contribution. I would especially like to thank two of our local mentors, Maruj Al Sadi and Saif Al Asai, for putting in countless hours of pitch preparation in with our cohort. Your assistance was greatly appreciated. Most of all, I would like to thank all the startups in Cohort 2 for your dedication and professionalism to the program. In my 15 years plus of working in Oman, I have never seen such a committed group. It has been absolutely amazing to see your commitment to learning, growing your startup, and contributing to Oman's national economy, and I look forward to being part of your journey on the path to success. For those of you who attended today, we would love to share the profiles and contact details for each of the startups. Please feel free to email the SAS team at the email address shared at the end of this video. Thank you again for attending today's demo day and congratulations to the second cohort of the SAS Accelerator.